take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is how the trucker really starts this morning sometimes, not all the time, but hey, that's how we usually do it. We start our computer, get all our video files into the computer so that way we don't mix them up. So that way they, uh, they have uh, their place in my computer. I have uh, made an extra folder, and then within that folder, I made 31 folders so that way each single day of the month I can put the video files in there that way it's organized and uh, I know where the files are for each date you know and uh, we rendered yesterday's video so we just checking that so if any error occurred while the process was going overnight then we can re-render it right but everything went well there so uh, but anyways so we're gonna have us a, a bowl of cereal here this morning and then we'll go over there to our uh, sh uh, receiving office. Go find out if they're happy to see us today. <laughs> see if they had a happy morning. But anyways, we're starting our day. Yeah, guys, we have just gotten unloaded at our first place. Now it's hammered down to our second place. We got 148 miles to go. So it says we should be there right around 11 o'clock, which is exactly when we need to be there. Yeah, so we don't have any delays too much or anything like that, no stops, then uh, we'll make it there on time, ladies and gentlemen. The sun is just starting to peek through over there. Yeah, so we have just gotten daylight. So that's awesome, we can drive through uh, when it's daylight. I like that. And as you can see, really no snow over here. Might be a little frost here and there, but other than that, I don't see any snow whatsoever. That's awesome. I like it that way. Especially since my wife sent me a picture there earlier. Oh, when I was getting unloaded. <laughs> How cold it was in Manitoba. Wow, like it was minus 43 celsius with the windshield i'm like whoa you know at minus 40 fahrenheit and celsius they equal out <clears throat> oh this is weird they should have the stop sign before <laughs> before the railway track you never want to stop on the railway track but i guess i kind of did a little bit there but it's not a good idea especially in the dark you know but uh, we can see so we knew there wasn't no train coming but but yeah it looked like it was minus 45 Fahrenheit with the windshield just unbelievable cold I'm very glad I'm over here <laughs> over here it's only like 25 Fahrenheit only minus four so we're we're in good shape over here well yeah let's make our way down to our second delivery we appreciate you guys tuning in today let's come and follow me along on my journey today would you looks like Ohio chicken house is closed today but don't let them fool you they might be in there you never know looks like there is one in there Almost looks like he's busy there with a customer. Yeah, looks like there's two of them in there. Wow, look at that, two smoky bears in there. At least two vehicles, right? Doesn't mean that there's two guys in there, but there is somebody in there, that's for sure. But yeah, we made it into Ohio now. So we still have another 65 miles to go to uh, our delivery. And uh, we had a bunch of traffic lights there before we got into Ohio. And it's like, wow. Just looking at that truck, what he's doing there. Looks like he's spraying something onto the road. Not sure what they're spraying onto the road, but he's losing some kind of fluid. You see that truck there? He's just spraying everything everywhere. <laughs> but oh well. 
Yeah, looks like it's even coming a little bit over onto this side. I'm gonna have to clean my windshield now. Oh, nice Peterbilt. Yeah. But yeah, so let's uh, continue on to our delivery. And uh, hopefully we can get there on time. It's looking right now like we will be there right on the edge of 11 o'clock. So should make it on time though. I'll sit down and buy you a cup This truck stop and coffee We both know will fix you right up I can't drive a big rig But man, I play a lot of shows I'll either drive to you As they can sing in these tunes Cause it's the only life I know I'll pick the guitar And you drive the truck Hey, I play the gigs and you drive the rigs, you know it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Of living this life we love I'll pick the guitar And you drive the truck Oh, tell us about it, Mo. Well, I better get her going If I'm gonna make Dallas by noon I pick a little guitar for jamming the gear I'll have to do After four million miles You think there's nowhere left to go And I'll climb back up That old truck Cause it's the only life I know So you pick the guitar And I'll drive the truck you play the gigs and I'll drive the rig You know it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Living this life we love You pick the guitar I'll drive the truck Yeah, I'll pick the guitar I'll drive the truck Yeah, I'll play the gigs I'll drive the rig It's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love. I'll pick the guitar and I'll drive the truck. You pick the guitar, hey, you got the truck. Watch that Jake break. It's getting in our song here, boys. Hammer down, boys. I'm gonna head it on back to Nashville now. Oh, grind them gears a little bit so I can hear you. That's awful pretty truck you got there, Mo. Oh, boy. Won't you park that old truck? Come on down to Nashville with me and do a little singing. Oh, I'm just a cowboy on my way back to Houston. Yeah! guys we have just gotten our second delivery off yeah now we gotta hammer down Need towards our pickup the entrance to the left we got about uh, speed limit reduced four the and a half hours worth of driving to do before we get to our pickup but uh hey, that's supposed to be a preloaded trailer over there from what i gather so we're gonna probably make us a pit stop somewhere down the road yet I'll probably want to get a little bit of fuel especially since no further north it's still fairly cold so I uh, want to make sure I have plenty of fuel and uh, In 900 the other thing feet, take is the entrance to the left on I-75 there really ain't too many places out there that I can fuel up right so uh, I also want to make sure that I have plenty of fuel that I can get to the next place, especially in winter. I don't like to run low on fuel, so... But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and make our turn here to go on to I-75. And then we'll be good to go. Pretty much I-75, as far as I know, pretty much straight north. That's pretty much all we got to do. 
And I know there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a Flying J only about maybe 11 miles before I get to my pickup. So maybe I can go right there and fill the sucker right up and that way I know I'll be good, right? Should be anyways. <laughs> so that means I could drive probably three and a half hours to four hours before I on this road for get miles. to that Flying J, but hey, that's all right. We had us a couple of sandwiches here in the truck while we were waiting to get unloaded. And uh, so we're good to go. We are good to go, that's for sure. Let's put the hammer down and let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, we're still giving her towards our delivery. Yes, indeed we are. We got another 76 more miles to go until we get to our delivery. And I figured, yeah, make another video clip here for you guys. So you guys can see what we're looking at. And I'm just really surprised on how little amount of snow there is out here. It's not really that cold up here either, but uh, hey, I am pretty sure we will be crossing the McIntyre Bridge tomorrow. So I'm hoping it's going to be around day daylight time, and I'll be able to uh, videotape it again. But there is a Tim Hortons here, the next exit, according to the sign up here. Just figured I'll point that out. <laughs> but yeah, if you like the McIntyre Bridge, give me a thumbs up. And we'll try and videotape it again tomorrow if we go by it. Which we have to cross it in order to go on Highway 2, right? So uh, as long as we can cross it, then we'll, uh, and if it's daytime, we'll try and get it on video. I mean, even if it's nighttime, I think they got pretty good lighting there. So we might even get it on video even if it's nighttime. But yeah, we'll make our way down to our pickup there and then... Uh, I really hope it, that load is going to be ready and it's going to be a quick in and out of there and, and then I can drive another hour, or an hour and a half maybe down the road tonight yet and then call it a day and then continue on tomorrow. I really hope I can make it uh, to Duluth uh, tomorrow when it's still daylight time. That would be kind of nice because I would like to do some flying over there a little bit with the drone. And if it doesn't look like that I'm going to be able to make it, maybe I'll stop there uh, at the lake there where I'm driving by the lakes there somewhere down the road and uh, maybe I can get some lake shots over there with the drone. That would be kind of nice too, wouldn't it? I know a lot of you guys like uh, liked my drone shots, so we'll try and get some more there again. I really enjoy flying it, that's for sure. I just can't fly it every single day because of the weather, you know, like some days it's just too cold, sometimes it's snowing, sometimes it's raining, you know, you can't always fly it when you want it, right? Especially when it's raining, that's not good. All right, guys, we are here at the Fly and J, and uh, this is one of the last Fly and J's out here on I-75. Past this there ain't no flying J or pilots or anything like that so we uh, decided to uh, put at least 50 gallons fuel in so that way I'm good oh that's a nice looking Peterbilt and we got our bag we're gonna go inside and take us a shower and then we'll go over to our pickup which is only uh, 11 miles or no I think 28 miles to our pickup place and then uh, get our load and Hopefully it's ready, and then continue on with our journey. So let's go take us a shower and take care of business, and then uh, we'll see what else we will be able to show you today, right? It is time to get out of here. We have just had us our shower. So now we need to go over there to our uh, pickup and uh, go find out that we can get our load, right? That's right. Yeah, luckily this flying J is not very busy. We had no problem parking in here. And taking care of our businesses that we needed to take care of. So now we need to go find our way down to our pickup. And this is usually a bit of a 
tough area to get out of, but we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Yes, indeed. Well, at least that's what I would say. Second exit, and then at the round. They got these roundabouts out here that I don't really care for, but uh, hey, we gotta get around them and. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why they come up with these roundabouts. I really don't care for them. And I bet you a At lot of other people don't care for exit. them either, but... Oh well. They got them, so we gotta go around them, right? At least this one is kind of a little bit designed for truckers, because uh, I never did go over the curb with the, uh, with the tires, so that's kind of nice. Most of them, they are so tight that uh, you can't quite make it uh, around without going over the curve, you know? Well, on this one, it may look like we're hitting the curve a little bit, but not too bad, not too bad, you know? So here we go, we got 26 more miles to do, and we'll be at our customer. But the sun is starting to go down, so... Uh, I just wanted to get me a shower because I needed a shower and I uh, wanted to get a shower after I got the pickup but uh, there really ain't no flying days past here so uh, there's no way I can actually get me a shower because I mean other, there is a few truck stops out there but not that many and lots of them don't even have, uh, have a shower in there so I can't even get a shower even if I want to pay for it so that's no good. So then I decided, you know what, let's go in here and take a shower. I don't care if I pick up my load an hour later, it don't matter. I still got lots of time, I've only done five and a half hours worth of driving today or so. And so that still leaves me with about another five and a half hours I guess. So half an hour to go down there, so I could technically drive another probably three or four hours if I wanted today. Although I don't think I'm going to do that much. We'll see if the load is ready first, right? <laughs> and then we'll go from there. Oh wow, that looks like a big bridge we're going to be going over. Look at that, eh? I didn't realize that there was actually a big bridge up here. I guess they must have some kind of river or lake or something that we got to go over. So I guess we'll have to go over it, right? I don't want to swim. <laughs> hey! I'm happy, happy, happy today. And number one reason is, you know, we got a shower and uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, second reason is because I got me a really nice load, which I've been meaning to update my website and I forgot when I was there at my uh, last delivery place to do that. And so here we are, I haven't updated it yet, but I figured maybe it's better anyways to wait to make sure that I actually get the load right before I uh, before I decide to uh, actually update the website, right? Well, so far I don't see much of a lake anywhere yet, but looks like on the GPS they're in a little bit of a little bit of a river, but I don't know. I think they overdid this bridge a little bit too much. I don't think they needed quite as big of a bridge as they created, but maybe they do for this. Uh, river up here maybe they have uh, made it deeper or whatever and maybe they got bigger ships coming through here and maybe that's why they needed this big bridge in order for uh, the ships to go underneath it right but anyways we'll go down to our pickup and uh, do our switch if the load is ready and continue on with our journey well guys here we are on an other day at the end of the day Yes, indeed, we are at the end of the day. We have uh, managed to pick up our preloaded trailer. That's good news. We updated our website. All of that has been taken care of now. So we are good to go. Yes, indeed, we are. And so I figured, you know what? We're not really in a hurry, so I don't know if we're uh, going to be... Uh, editing this video tonight or not but uh at least we'll work on it probably a little bit 
And the uh, main thing is finishing it off and then that way we're done with it. We can put the files in the computer so they're ready to go. We're all good with that. And then uh, we'll probably work on it, possibly. If not, we'll probably go to bed here pretty soon too. And uh, we'll see how early we get going in the morning. But it did get very cold here very quickly. <clears throat> we were down there we're in uh, Midland where we picked up the load drove uh, I don't know how long we drove but uh, it was probably well I could probably tell you we drove an all an hour and 45 minutes from when I picked up the load till we got here and it was went down from something like uh, I think it was like minus 6 to minus 20 that's how quickly it went down in an hour and 45 minutes worth of driving. So yeah, it got cold pretty fast. So, good thing we did put in that extra fuel earlier. So we should be A-OK, -okay, I think. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that was my uh, my paper log that I was showing you. I've probably never really shown it too much to you guys. But that's kind of what it looks like. You uh, fill this out and that's basically uh, what it looks like you got the lines on how i driven and stuff like that the towns where i've been all that good stuff but uh, hey that's gonna come to an end pretty soon yeah pretty soon we'll have electronic log in here at the end of the month we're supposed to have it in or at least have our training so uh yeah that's all right i drive legal anyway so i will be said for those of us that drive legal we ain't got nothing to worry about right so but anyways we appreciate you guys watching my today's vlog again hey if you could do me a favor that is share these videos i've noticed not too many of you guys are actually sharing the videos so if they're not good enough to share then why are you watching that's my my uh, my question to you if they're really not that interesting that you wouldn't want to share the video why are you watching <laughs> are you just watching to keep an eye on me <laughs> no i'm just joking around with you guys on that but uh yeah i'm serious uh not too many of you guys are actually sharing the video so uh you guys really need to either share the video or not watch it all <laughs> kind of i don't know i'm just i don't know whatever that's okay if you guys don't want to share them i guess then don't share them <laughs> If you feel that way that they're not good enough, then yeah, well, that's okay. I'll still continue on making videos. I do it for those that like to watch and and whatever. So uh, with that being said, we will see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy. Have a good one. <laughs>